Rob Dew reporting for InfoWars Nightly News and InfoWars.com with a, another vaccine report. This one comes out of Canada, but it also leads back into the United States. And this is out of the globe. Canadian study finds flu shot could increase risk of getting sick. Wow, something we've been telling you all along. Now it's in a study and scientists have said it, so now we can all believe it. The study states, in particular, vaccine effectiveness against influenza A among those who received the 2014-15 vaccine without prior vaccination was higher at 43% than among those participants who were vaccinated with the same uh, vaccine component in both 2013 and 14 and 2014-15. And they're saying that was negative 15%. For those who received this year's flu shot alone, the vaccine appeared to be quite effective, about 43% effective, but if the patient had a flu shot in both years, both this year and last year, the shot was actually negatively effective, meaning it may have made people more susceptible to the flu. You're at a 15% increased chance of getting the flu if you got the vaccine in two years, but they didn't do a study for three or four or five years. Of course, we'll never see those, what the chances are, but at least we know they are doing something. Here we go. A negative effectiveness suggests the vaccine made people more susceptible to flu, Dr. Dickinson says. We need to do further research to understand why this has happened. Well, the vaccine attacks your immune system. That's been proven many times over. So by taking it twice, you're attacking your immune system twice, thereby increasing your chances of getting the flu. But then again, I'm not a doctor, so you shouldn't trust a thing I say. You should do your own research. Similar results were also found in the United States. More than three quarters of flu vaccines this year have been ineffective, reports the Daily Mail. The percentage of effective injections at 23% is one of the worst performances since the government started tracking how well flu vaccines work in the 2004-2005 season. So in the last 10 years, this has been the worst they've ever done, or maybe it's the best they've ever done if that's what they're looking to do is get people sick. Furthermore, both of these, they said seniors were always the least protected. But if you go to flu.gov, which is a website run by our federal government, because your immune system weakens as you age, adults age 65 and older are more susceptible to the flu. It is important seniors get their flu vaccine. It seems seniors, children, and pregnant women are their targeted groups for flu vaccination, but they've known it hasn't worked for elderly people for a long time. In fact, here in 2013, USA Today reported flu vaccine barely worked in people 65 and older. This season's flu vaccine was completely ineffective in people 65 and older, which could explain why rates of hospitalization and death have been the highest ever recorded for that age group, according to early estimates released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. For those 65 and older, though, it helped in just 9% of the cases. But even back in 2013, they knew if you got the flu shot two years in a row, your chances of getting the flu increased. Effectiveness of flu vaccine raises more red flags, and this is dated 3-26-2013. The influenza vaccine was 62% effective among people who did not receive a flu shot in the prior year. In comparison, vaccine effectiveness among those who did get the flu shot in the previous year was substantially lower at negative 45%. So you're almost a 50% chance of getting sick from the flu if you got the vaccine in two years. That would have been 2013 and 2012 flu seasons. In 2010, PLOS Medicine published an analysis of Canadian epidemiological studies suggesting that people who had received seasonal flu shots the year before the 2009 H1N1 pandemic had an increased risk of becoming infected with pandemic swine flu. A second study in 2009 identified similar associations between previous vaccination and pandemic H1N1 illness in a military population. Between April 21st and May 8th, a total of 97 patients developed the H1N1 virus. Of these 63 people, 66% had received the influenza vaccination in the previous 12 months. In comparison, only 40% of patients without H1N1 virus had no history of vaccination. And when you're in the military, as Joe Biggs and others have pointed out, you really don't get a say in what you get to put in your body. In fact, you get no say whatsoever. They tell you to line up and they give you whatever flu shot that year they think you need. And look what happens when the armed forces does get herd immunity. Here we are, February 24, 2015. CDC admits flu vaccine does not work. Influenza outbreak on fully vaccinated Navy ship. The CDC published a report documenting an influenza outbreak which occurred among fully vaccinated Navy personnel aboard the USS Arden, a U.S. Navy minesweeper moored in San Diego, California while conducting training. And here's the CDC's reports from February 2014. Influenza outbreak in a fully vaccinated population, USS Ardent, February 2014. Naval Health Research Center determined that 20 specimens were influenza A, of which 18 were subtype H3N2. 
the HA gene sequence of the outbreak isolate was 99% identical to the strains circulating during the 2013-2014 influenza season and antigenically similar to the H3N2 component of the 2013-2014 influenza vaccine. At the time of the outbreak, 99% of the crew had received influenza vaccine. And 17 of the 18 crew members with confirmed influenza A, H3N2 infection, had received the 2013-2014 influenza vaccine less than three months before the outbreak. Just another case of the flu shot causing the flu. And now we go back in time to 2011. The Centers for Infectious Disease Research and Policy, or CIDRAP, released this article. Flu vaccine efficacy, time to revise public messages. And they are basically reporting on a Lancet article, and they found little or no evidence of the 70 to 90% efficacy for most population groups, which is what they always say, the flu vaccine is 70 to 90% effective. They found nothing of the sort in that. In fact, they found that it was close to 59% in adults younger than 65, and we know what happens once you get 65. And now I wanna end with a couple articles from Mercola.com. The first one is in 2012, and the second one's in 2010. Here's the first. Analysis finds flu vaccine efficacy lacking as flu vaccines are suspended across Europe and Canada. That's right. In this article, it talks about several different companies in many countries in Europe and then in Canada where they actually suspended the flu vaccine because of problems with the lots. But remember the group SIDRAP, the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy? Well, their director had this to say back in 2012. Michael T. Ulsterham is questioning the effectiveness of the vaccine. We have overpromoted and overhyped this vaccine. It does not protect as much as promoted. It's all a sales job. It's all public relations. And what do we see every year during the flu season? We see lots of commercials and specials everywhere and signage and all the drugstores of encouraging everyone to get that flu vaccine. Of course, it looks like it's overhyped. We've been telling you that for many years now. And now, through a, a multitude of research and articles were finally being vindicated with this news. And now let's look back in 2012 where the flu vaccine was being banned in several European countries and Canada. October 17th, vaccine maker Crucial, a unit of U.S. drug maker Johnson & Johnson, suspended delivery of 2.36 million doses of their seasonal flu vaccine headed for Italy and other European countries. But that's not all. On October 24th, Italy banned the sale and use of four flu vaccines manufactured by Novartis. Switzerland, Spain, Germany, Austria, and France also banned these vaccines. And then on October 27th, Canada suspended the sale and use of Novartis flu vaccines sold under the names Fluod and Agriflu, which are both manufactured in Italy. But even as far back as 2010, there was plenty of evidence that the flu shots were not safe and definitely not effective as they claim in all the ads and pomp and circumstance. Here it is, Mercola, 2010, April 8th, more proof flu shots don't work. And I'll take you down to the middle of the article under the section evidence showing flu shots don't work. After reviewing five studies conducted between 1997 and 2009, the results show that vaccination campaigns had no effect on the number of confirmed influenza cases. They also concluded that vaccinating staff has no proven impact on reducing the number of related pneumonia cases or pneumonia-linked deaths, which, by the way, count for the vast majority of what the CDC counts as flu deaths. And it lists the five studies Two in 2008, one in 2007, one in 2006, and another in 2010, which show that the vaccines are not effective. That's why they have to put out this big advertising campaign. That's to get you conditioned that you have to get the flu shot. This is all part of their scheme. And what happens after you get the flu shot? Well, you're going to get sick, and then you're going to need to get more treatment. Yet we've seen children die this year from the same strain that they were vaccinated against. Other people have had debilitating conditions. It's scary. And are you going to take that risk with your health? The pro-vaccine hysteria has reached such a fevered pitch that we now have state reps making jokes about being vaccine brain damaged like this. Anyway. <laughs> got vaccinated. Yeah, because I got destroyed my brain when I was vaccinated. No. <laughs> anyway. oh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's be a little more serious. But I don't think it's a laughing matter, especially when you see evidence in videos of people who have been damaged by vaccines. And I've seen a lot of them, but this one really hurts the most. Hello, my name is Sula Tor. This is my daughter, Kimberly. Kimberly is a vaccine injury child. She was 
nine weeks old when she had her initial shot. We are very blessed to have her as good as she is. She has mental retardation, she has seizures, and she has autistic tendencies and a lot of autism that showed up when she was probably 18 months old. She has had thousands of seizures over the years. We also were able to win a suit for her. Money doesn't compensate loss of life. What happens if you get the flu? You get sick for a few days. If you work on a healthy immune system, you'll get through this stuff a okay And I encourage you to check out some of the products at InfoWarsLife.com that can help you strengthen your immune system. It's what I do, and I didn't get the flu this year, nor did I get the flu shot. In fact, I've never gotten the flu shot, and I think I've only had the flu once in all that time that I've never gotten the flu shot since I've been 18 years old. Anyway, this is Rob Dew reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News.